Welcome to the Corporate Knights Podcast. In this episode, we went to New York to interview ex-NHLer Mike Richter, one of the top goalies in hockey history. Corporate Knights reporter John Carey took in a midday practice with Richter at Madison Square Gardens to talk about his new career as a green investor. First on the lineup, how Mike decided to trade in the pads and defend the environment. In a lot of ways, as a professional athlete, you're very much relying on the public. Um, you're to pay your salary, and it'd be nice to give something back. And you know, sort of dawned on me: where can you have the biggest influence? How many years do you have left? What position are you in to really change the way the world works? When I went back to school at Yale, I had a really interesting course called Capitalism and the Environment. And the whole idea of capitalism about growth and the whole idea about environmental stewardship is about kind of containing growth. Right. And so how, how do these two things kind of play out? And it kind of became apparent that the only way you're going to have what has the strength and, 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 and capacity to, to really move the way we do business, and that is business itself. And you should be able to make a profit off of doing the right things. Mm-hmm. And I, I, it's just an old paradigm where you say there's, I mean, a real, I think, a false choice between the environment and uh, economic profits, right? I, I think the way the world's starting to turn is that you, in the long run, can't have economic profits unless you have some kind of environmental stewardship. Billy G! You look good. <laughs> I'll talk to you down there. When it comes to sustainability in business, Richter's big pet peeve is greenwashing, something he says is all too prevalent in the marketplace. For him, we can fight against it by making informed choices as a consumer, something he acknowledges is easier said than done. Well, it's one thing to say that you're doing something when you're not, to try to avoid catching heat. It's another thing to be actually lying and profiting getting some kind of competitive advantage for saying something that you're not doing. Everything from, you know, these hybrid cars that are, yeah, in name only hybrids, they're right. still getting horrible mileage and they're still <laughs> found the, the, um, the environment, yet they're starting to get market share. You know, people don't have a lot of time for finding out what is destroying the environment and whatnot. Unfortunately, there's a lot of services coming up that are showing the entire ecological footprint, not just the, um, uh, climate footprint uh, uh, of your purchasing decisions and those things are going to make it easier to, to actually make informed choices. If Mike Richter was president for a day, he knows exactly how he would change environmental policy for the better. He'd start by eliminating the biggest obstacle to renewable energy. Change campaign finance laws in America. Yeah. Because if, if you as a, an elected politician are getting into office because the fossil fuel industry, or you see it right now, coal. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, yeah. it's abundant, it's cheap, it's cheap at the pump, but it's, it's, if you really look at the social, the social cost of coal, there's absolutely no way you can say that's four cents a kilowatt hour. There's no way. Wow. The expenses are so much more, and I think not only do uh, renewables compete with it, I think they beat it if you just put in the social costs of, of these things. I'd mandate that the, um, the social costs have to be borne into the price of all goods and services. When you start scaling up some of the things that actually uh, don't harm the environment as much, um, the price of that will come down. Um, but I, I just think that we, our, our whole cost-benefit analysis is, is entirely whacked in favor <laughs> of the things that um, unfortunately are, are harming us, our health and our economy. So what do we need to do to make a difference? It's hard, and I don't expect everybody to uh, stop what they're doing, but educate yourself. Just don't question. Most of the people um, are not as well off as they think they are um, with the status quo. There's, there's, we could be living, uh, functioning, and, and gaining profit a lot uh, more efficiently if we um, change the paradigm. And I don't think people are educated the way they should be. Anytime. I'm good all whatever you got, buddy. I'm I'm ready to roll. <laughs> you don't want me on your team, bud. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Corporate Knights podcast. For future episodes, please visit www.corporatenights.ca and click on multimedia.